possible for Indian medical universities to accommodate students from Ukraine? See, primarily, it's an extraordinary, unprecedented situation. It's, I would say, once in a lifetime situation. We have not seen earlier, and God forbid, we should not see in future. So this is a kind of an unprecedented situation where the students are coming and they are, you know, and thanks to our honorable Prime Minister and to Government of India that we were able to make them safe, you know, barring one couple of students, you know, who had, you know, casualties and also some of them they felt sick because of, you know, the environment was like that over there. And in a warlike situation to, you know, bring so many students Almost all I say is say that it's off. It's a, I'll, I'll say it's hands off to the government. Number two is that now it's those students that have gone to study over there. And the situation over there for times to come is going to be very, very uncertain. And this has become a kind of an international issue. Now, you know, other countries, you know, we don't know what they are going, what is going to be their stand on, you know, Indian students. But you see, as far as we are concerned, we should have a kind of standard, particularly the private medical colleges. Government medical colleges, you know, I don't think there is, they are already full to the capacity. And so would be the private medical colleges also, because most of the medical colleges, they take the quiet number. But we need to have it as an extraordinary situation. But you know, we need to also, if I was to talk of the private sector, because it's a kind of a situation which is comparable to private sector. They went out, they studied, but as far as you know, we are concerned, they are, you know, students who are studying in Ukraine come to India. So we open the door of private medical colleges, but you know, it will be not totally free of cost. That is important. The colleges have to work out on a necessary amount of fee structure, which is, you know, viable structure to support the graduate study, keeping in mind that this is an extraordinary situation and 20,000 across the country has to be, you know, kind of adjusted in different medical colleges and almost 50% of the colleges we have got in the private sector which are there and looking at again, we have to work out on some mechanism, you know, where a student goes to what medical college, you know, so we have to have a kind of a counselling session for them with regard to the entrance also to different medical colleges so that is where the system has to be really, really worked on. But I will not say that this will be totally free of cost because once the student is studying in India, his cost of stay abroad, his cost of education, everything is outside is much more expensive. So we need to really look into the fact that you see what will be the appropriate cost which you know the medical colleges can bear and for which you know. National Medical Commission, along with the government, has to play a very, very critical role. As I say, this is an unprecedented, extraordinary situation. So it will be better if you absorb our students here. Unless, you know, there are some international opportunities and students would like to go. You know, that is another important part of it, which we have to you know, also consider at this point of time. But we need to look into it, you know, on a priority basis, because they come back and, you know, we have to see that you know the students are appropriately absorbed into you know the uh, according to their educational uh, education number of years whether they are first year students, second year, third year, and all that. And definitely you know when it comes to those of them who have cleared you know their medical colleges and they want to uh, the internship. So our district hospitals can play a very very critical role. Every district you know over seven hundred. Approximately some of the 40 districts we have. And I will say that by and large, you know, I am more than our, you know, 90% of the district hospitals, I will say that they are, you know, having high patient load. That is why they are known as district hospitals. But, you know, as far as people will say that, you know, there are no uh, physicians over there, we have to deal with the state's infrastructure. How you know these uh, physicians or gynecologists or you know pediatricians or you know ENT specialists, ophthalmologists or you know uh, public health specialists can be relocated to you know kind of you know relook into the medical education because you see they also have to be you know kind of uh, uh, 
it's a new kind of situation also. Mm -hmm. So, but then this will be forming a base for the coming years also for our students to be trained as good medical graduates who are skilled, knowledgeable, and who can apply their knowledge to the patient care. But ma'am, this uh, raises an important issue. Medical students returning to Ukraine will have to clear a foreign medical graduate exam if they wish to pursue medicine in India, said a senior official at NMC, the body that regulates medical education in the country. But if the NMC permits it as a special case and allows the student enrollment in the Indian medical colleges, other students who qualified the need but did not make the cut for medical admission and stayed back in India might protest. What would you say? So definitely it's a kind of a, I'll say a difficult question but I will just try to answer it you know kind of because you see as I said it's an unwarranted, unqualified, unrestricted situation as well. You see there could be a student who is a student who clear need has a high school but could not go out due to financial reasons, right? So that is one situation. But then here we have students who have gone out to pursue the studies, you see. And definitely, see, as I said, that it will be a third year student in Ukraine but does not, you know, qualify to be having adequate knowledge for third year of our country. Mm -hmm. So that is where we need to re-look into their curriculum structure and accordingly, you know, we need to, as I said, we need to have the counselling part, you know, if they are not coming to today in the let them go back a year back. If the, the sky is not going to fall, that's where, because you see, it's a kind of the opportunity which is being extended to. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you see, in this kind of a situation which is so unprecedented, we need to really re-look into and we kind of think about, you know, strategically as to what are going to be the viable options and even the viable options can come from the communities themselves. Mm -hmm. That is important. We have not, not have had an open forum, you know, except, you know, uh, we have our associations talking about that uh, these students should be absorbed, but we need to have public uh, public's perspective as well. Mm -hmm. So that is very, very important. But I would like to say that from uh, you know kind of a, the students have already pursued their medical education for some time, and as I said that you know uh, it's a kind of an international matter as well because it's not only India's matter; it's an international matter because students will keep going like this, you know. So I feel that you know it needs to be sorted out even at the international level. Then every country like Poland will be saying that we will be offering you know, this country because their curriculum is something more similar mm -hmm. as compared to. So we need to look at it and we need to discuss, you know, with the other European countries also. And because you see, the other students are also equally, you know, I'll say affected by this. Other students will still from other countries as well. So that is important. But as far as definitely, you know, Indian, uh, uh, you know, our own uh, education is concerned. National Medical Commission plays a very, very critical role along with the government of India and NITI, which is planning. You know. So we need to take that into consideration and then accordingly we need to decide you know, exactly what is going to be the, you know, uh, strategy of admission of the student. But personally, I feel the student who has at the one four years of medical course or three years of medical course, what is the viable option for that student? So that is it.